Hi and welcome back to to my channel. I'm feeling better life of the rest. If you're following me right now, as you know, I'm just telling up some of the list ends of the mental health and awareness as well as autism and mm. so it's versus also maybe it's just a little bit more on my little of journals of entries of the dear letter series or just journal excerpts in general of what I want to share with you all of what I may have been through in the past and present and hopefully some of this will be some light for you and some form of comfort and peace and hope, no matter what it is. I'm hoping whatever reasoning in behind you landing in this page that you will find whatever you were searching for and hopefully I'll be your girl to actually support you through your down and out times, be it a mentor, advocate, support person, whatever you want to label me as and hopefully the same this that we can communicate and actually just be able to just support one another because that's what I'm all about right now, supporting one another no matter what. So in this one obviously as I said before, some of these will be my journal excerpts which I humbly apologise in advance for some of them you guys that you think that you're taking offence which I shouldn't have to apologise because at this point in time it's just how I felt when I was down and out I'm not trying to take aggression onto anyone as a disclaimer I just thought just to express it on how I felt in via this form as well as hopefully once my blog site will come to play some of these videos will be attached on there as well it's just maybe the key notes of what I'm sharing with you all so this one's obviously another general excerpt as I said, there's going to be plenty more of these as well as the mental health and awareness series that I was hoping to bring into play with the mental awareness month that has just been and gone obviously along with some of these other bits but I'm hoping no matter what, regardless of what has been going down that has been putting me behind schedule of what I want to address that it will be either done this year or next year. So just keep an eye on the lookout if you were looking for these or just comment below and let me know and I'll do my darn hardest to research it up if it is some topic that you really need to know about or just some words of advice somewhere along the way. Then all for the day guys though, thanks for watching and I'll continue on now. So this one's going to be, there's nobody to me go, I wanted you to fight for me. Right, this is going to be a lot of later format so bear with me. Dear love of my life or future husband. I still remember that night when I said it was over to you. I remember you standing in front of me and looking at me like you were looking at a stranger out on the dark streets. I still feel those rippling chills in my body when you just said, Okay, that's all I heard from your lips. Okay. You said nothing more or nothing less after this was said to you, however. I thought it was just a dream or I must have misheard what you just said to me. Without even trying to fight for me. Will that adventure to talk to me and to apologize for all the sh shit you said to me in the past as well as what you've done to me in the past. You accepted my decision like it was the most normal thing in the world that was not the only thing you could do just by acceptance. Wait, but who is the crazy one here? You or me? Do you just let go of the one you love so easily? Don't you fight for someone who means the world to you? Those questions were kept running through my mind aimlessly as you made these empty promises so I felt this was a white lie while I watched you leave out that door. I don't know what you what you felt inside of you. We didn't have that chance obviously to talk it out before I made this final decision. But I know that I didn't get the reaction I wanted to see. You leave me like I was never yours in the very darn first place. But we haven't spent all these years together dreaming about the house we may buy or even if we did plan to have kids or any marriage or any other goals and dreams that we thought were together as a team, as husband, wife or what have you in this game of love or relationship, whatever way you want to look at this. With the only one word, you sank all my ships. Your ignorance was such a bliss and made me feel like a bloody fallen idiot at the very same time. It looked like I was the only one who was in love in our relationship. Or was I just dreaming and again assuming this or wanting this all on my own? <clears throat> it looked like I was the only one that was in my love. I felt like it was all one sided. Well, to me, anyways. It looked like I was the only one ready to fight every second of every hour of the day, regardless of what it may be. Not the physical fights, but just the fights in general that, you know, most couples would have. And you, on the other hand, you were just a coward because you let me go that darn easily with a snap of the fingers. Like, I never belonged to you in the very darn first place. Like, you never cared deeply enough about me. 
Like I was just the stranger in the dark streets. In that very moment, I realized that I don't want you anymore. I don't need a man who won't fight for me as I have done for him. I don't need an almost relationship. I need a full-time relationship through the good and the bad and the ugly, as well as the forever after relationship that comes with it. I deserve so much more from my life, and unfortunately, you didn't provide me this, or you can't provide me with this. I wanted you to fight for me, but you couldn't even do that, sadly. If you're such a coward who lets go of one, the one you truly loved, then I didn't need you either, or you didn't need me. I want a man who will be there for me in the moments of sorrow, anger, and every other thing. I need a man who will support me in my everyday decisions, dreams, goals, and visions. I need a man who will give me his hand when life gets rough and tough for me. And vice versa, I would give the benefit of the doubt to give him the same. And, baby, you are not the man, sad to say. I felt that you never were. I was so blindly in love with you, so I couldn't see any other men who were trying to win me over time and time again and to win my heart. Love and everything about me. I trusted you with all my all heart when you said you wanted to marry me or when you thought that you were ready to propose to me. I trusted you with my whole life and heart when you said that you want to be the mother of my children if I was to bring children into the world and I bought all that shit on like an idiot and a fool while you had a different plan in mind. You made me feel so safe with you but you were thinking of the good ways to leave me before I made these words come into reality and I felt that something was wrong. I thought that I was the one to blame for the most of the situations that we were facing together. Even if, basically, you were too blinded to see that you had your own very problems. I saw that in your eyes. Your eyes weren't the same as before though, however. They weren't looking at me with the same passion, same spark. I never thought the love of my life, or so I thought you were, would let me go completely and go that very different direction. I just thought that we were experiencing the bump in the road like many relationships and, you know, couples would. And then we will solve our problems with talking and everything else that could go in hand be it compromisation and everything else but boy was I wrong you didn't even want to do this I don't see this one coming from a mile off and I must admit it knocked me off my feet I couldn't believe that this was happening to me to us even I thought we were a happy couple the one that will grow old together but was I again dreaming and thinking the wrong thing to us, I thought that we were forever going to be strong and that no matter what will happen or what was said between us, that we will fight together for one another, no matter what was said and done against us or to us. But no, God had a different plan for us. He wanted us to see us separated. And now when I look back from this, I am a happy and satisfied woman. You want to know why? Because I was saved from a man who didn't deserve me. A man, saved from a man who obviously made me a little bit unhappy from a man who, who would sell me off for his own dreams from a man who was a coward and couldn't give all his heart and soul and everything and him the man who was afraid to be loved and to love I don't want a man just like that I wanted a man who would fight for me in every inch of his soul and being but you couldn't even do that you didn't show me any form of respect you didn't say that you were sorry even when you thought I was the one that needed to apologize all the time you just leave me like I was a dog out on the streets. You didn't care if I would be okay one minute, if I would if I would scream and have a nervous breakdown. I just had to do it silently in my own room and closed doors, having these moments. You just left me like I was never yours. And thank you for doing so. Thank you for even showing me to what life has to offer me now than ever. Now I know that I want what I want for my life. Now I know what kind of man I do so deserve however I know my worth and I know that I won't give you a second chance even if I did give you that many chances before though because I gave you so much more than you deserve so many sleepless nights waiting for you to come home so many talks late at night telling you that you shouldn't be worried about our problems or even my problems even though I didn't want to bother you with my problems even though I silently was fighting them on my own having to tell myself not to feel about having to share what was on my mind basically or what was it that I was going through because if we loved each other we would solve them all and all that mess I felt to say that you didn't want us to solve it at all you wanted to ruin our kingdom that we were building together 
so we can't do it for some reason you thought it, we can't work and i wanted us to work i really surely as hell did but your words were the last ones and i couldn't do anything about that i just can't thank god to thank me from a broken man like you because my life with you would be everything but happy with a broken man nothing is the easy and I wasn't ready for someone like that. I wanted you to fight for me and tell me that you would rather be alone than with someone else, however. But unfortunately, I never heard these words coming out of those mouth of yours. I just a simple okay that I will remember until the day I die. And just because of that word, I will never let myself have an uh, almost relationship like I had with you. And you, one day I hope you will look back at what we had and regret every single thing you did to let it end in this way. Well, this quickly ends basically the short brief word. Instead of letting me go, I wanted you to fight for me. Give me a like, for thumbs up, for support, comment below, and let me know if you want to hear more of these general excerpts. Feel free to share these videos around to family friends, because as I said, some of these videos that I'm bringing up, I'm hoping will come to life and actually come into fruition for someone that may need to hear it, be it tips and buys or just some of these excerpts that may hit close to home. Feel free to share these videos around, as I said, to make it out of network. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. No pressure. As I said, my uploading schedule will hopefully be on the daily. If not, it'll be three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Feel free to, basically, if you haven't done so already and you want to, subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification bell so you can keep up to date with all the posts of what I get up to be through YouTube or my social media sites on Twitter and Facebook. If you haven't been following me on those, I suggest maybe if you want to. Again, choice is yours. Follow me on those sites so you can keep up to date with what I get up to. So without further ado guys, thanks for supporting us for watching. Do what you love, love what you do. Until next time, as we're signing out and I'll see you again soon. Ciao for now.